Hey everybody, how's it going today? Buddy Blackford here with another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. And today in this tutorial we're going to be working with the paragraph panel. So the paragraph panel gives you control over the text in a paragraph. And um, it's right next to the character panel usually. So if you open up this little paragraph icon here, that's how you get the paragraph panel. And if it's not there, you go to Window, Paragraph. So the paragraph panel doesn't have a whole lot of different things in it, but um, it actually uh, just has just like a few things that just pretty much pertain to paragraphs. And I'll go over those with you. So go ahead and make a paragraph by clicking and dragging with your type tool. And then you want to just dra uh, type some things. Well, I'm going to have to make a bigger paragraph text box. So let me do that. Let's hide, it, hide some stuff. So if I have my text click in here, I see my text box, my paragraph, I can resize that. And I'm just typing in some stuff here. Um, and that's probably good. So I just thought about thought of this off the top of my head. It's not something like I had premeditated as I was doing it. So let's uh, go over the different stuff that's going on in our paragraph panel. So we've got our justification in these first three boxes right here. Now the justification is the uh, pretty much the methods that you can use to align your paragraph. So if you click on the left, it'll align your paragraph to the left if you center it. And then here's a couple other justifieds. Um, these are mainly used for um, like news articles, these ones over here on the right. And then this one is totally justified at the end. Now let's go down here and we've got our indent before our left margin. And if I bring that in, you can see that everything's getting indented more. Bring that back to zero. You can see how it goes back. Um, over here on the right is the indent the right margin, so it's going to do the opposite. And this one right here is the indent in the first line. So if I bring that up, it's going to indent the first line like that. I'll hit zero. Let's bring it back to where it was. Um, the next one below here, we've got space before paragraphs. And then we have space after paragraphs. So if I, let's bring this in like that. Um, I haven't made any paragraphs, but I can. And all you have to do to make a paragraph is just basically hit enter. Let me just hit enter and then I'll just do blah, 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 whatever that is. Bring this back in. And now if I adjust the space between paragraphs, you can see that this bottom line down here is working a little bit better. And then after paragraph, um, let's see how that works. Uh, I would need some more paragraphs, but um, you get the hint on this one. It's going to uh, add space after a paragraph, so we would do it after this one that I just added. So um, you can do that. Then we've got this button right here, which you probably had checked, but hyphenate if I do that. If I start bringing this in a little, it's probably going to end up hyphenating some of the words for us. Some of the larger words. Let me uh, try something like this and bring some of these words together to make just one word. And uh, see if it's going to hyphenate them for us. Hmm. Of course, it's not the easiest thing to do here. Well, pretty much, oh, I don't have the hyphenate checked. That's why. There it goes. Um, that was my bad. Sorry about that. Now we get hyphens um, that uh, hyphenate words when they get to the edge of the paragraph box. So you can see how that works like that. And um, that's uh, basically all there is to know about the uh, paragraphs and the paragraph panel. Pretty easy to work with. And uh, now you know really how to use it. So thanks a lot for watching the tutorial and sticking with it, and I hope you guys have a good day. Have a good one, everyone.